This is Susie Soule of BestRockList.com, and I'm here with Sebastian Bach, who's out on tour. Yeah. He just started his U.S. leg of the tour mm-hmm. in support of your album. Give him hell. Give him hell. It's really uh, easy listening. It is. <laughs> No, the oh. album is phenomenal. You dig it. Thank phenomenal, you. Thank yes. You. All my friends are dead. Yeah, it's a good, 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 uh, good, good, good song. And 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 VH1 just added our video like last like two weeks ago. And everybody tells me, oh, nobody watches VH1 or MTV, or they, but I get excited when I'm sitting on at my house and flipping through the channels and like my video come I go right they, right on I still get a thrill out of that so the fact that they just added all my friends are dead is I, I love that my manager says oh it doesn't matter nobody I go but it does because people you know flip through the channels and you know who watches that you yes <laughs> people our age watch yeah, that yeah metal mania they get, they get excited because they're like oh they're playing videos and they're yes. playing sebastian Bach. but when i when i shoot videos nowadays i don't do it with the assumption that it's going to be in rotation on a video channel but they always kind of get on there like kicking and screaming um i'm alive and now all my friends are dead they all got added to the channel and you know that's like four minutes on na- on national television of, of me singing a brand new tune with Duff on the bass and uh, right on thank you VH1 <laughs> absolutely thank you. so tell me some some of the meaning behind that song obviously it well no the title is just it's kind of funny like um, it's not meant to be taken literally okay. um, but it uh, it is a commentary probably on two things um you know we all as we get older we all lose friends um because they're dead <laughs> and so that sucks you know dying it stinks it's no it fun. does stink it does stink. It's no fun it's rotten it, it's fucking rotten it happens so. it does happen so but also it can be a relationship that is dead like people that you know you used to know all my friends are dead fuck you that it, that's what it could mean as well i understand that okay okay that See, makes there's sense there's always a little demon inside <laughs> of me that i try to be really nice and, and and i even when i'm saying like tonight i'm very very uh conscious about vocals and you know what i'm singing but then all of a sudden i'll just this little demon will pop out and um it's it's all from the music it's the music gets inside of me and and um weird shit happens like the middle of that song all my friends are dead tonight like that really yes. crazy kind of jazz fusion part um that all that always feels like there's a, another presence in the room at that specific section of that song. I don't know why, but it, I feel it. It's 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 very heavy. It's so your jazz heavy. friends are there. No, this is a Derek Smalls. He wrote this. This is jazz. This is his bass solo. He wrote this. It's a very buried album because then there's a, a song on there that sounds like country. Uh, rock and roll is a vicious game. Yes. Yeah, I don't got no rules. Um, I don't got good grammar. <laughs> I just caught myself. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, I, I, you know, a weird thing about me is that I rebel against the word 80s, okay? Because it, it, to me it's like, um, it's, what's the word? Marginalizes what I do. If somebody says, well, you're 80s, man, I, you know, it, it kind of like pigeonholes what I okay. do and other bands, right? Especially when I'm putting out new albums all the time and stuff. But I'm hypocritical in the sense that I listen to the 70s music as like um, nostalgia, right? right? Like I'm like, oh, don't call me 80s. But I listen to 70s music. So I guess if it's okay for me, to listen to the Eagles and Steely Dan and Phoebe Snow and Joan Armitrading 
and uh, Bob Marley and Sly and the Family Stone. This is what I personally, Neil Young, always. This is what I, that's what I listen to all the time, and 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 because it makes me feel, um, I don't know, like all warm and fuzzy inside. So you and the Cinderella T-shirt over there. Sorry. I didn't have I, uh, no, no, but I, but it's okay though. I should I should ease the fuck up, like. I I shouldn't just, oh don't call me that. I should let people if you dig it fine dig it dig it I dig it it's, and, it's and you know you're talking about 25 years ago really it, uh, it's, it's hard for me yeah. it's hard for me to fathom that it's, hard for me. it's really hard to fathom because that's like a quarter of a century it's not like it is a quarter of a century it is yeah it is so 25 is a and you know what and you're still going strong and your voice sounded yeah. incredible thank you it <laughs> sounds incredible and I'm, just, I'm kind of like allergenic right now too i'm like i have that itchy eye thing you know <sighs> that's the midwest that's the midwest is that what that is yes god that's because of the, all there is oh. is cornfields is that and, is yeah. pollen or corn, corn or yeah yeah something so. But um, we just did a 24 cities in 27 days or some, something ridiculous like that. And I love it. But my pipes have, a, like, they, they get stronger the more I sing. Some, some, some singers will say that they like to take time off. Uh, and, um, but but my, my voice is different. The more I sing, the better, the stronger it gets. I'm lucky. Yes, I think it's just your natural talent. So. Well, I, I learned it when I did the play Jesus Christ Superstar um, because they wanted me to do eight shows a week for a year. And I go, are you high? I go, that, that is insane. I go, nobody can do that. And they go, Sebastian, here's what we'll pay you if you do six <laughs> shows a week. And here's what we'll pay you if you do eight. And I went like this. I went, la, 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 la. Oh, my, my, I'm feeling, I'm feeling mellifluous. <laughs> my voice is just feeling very strong. Now. <laughs> and then I did those eight shows in the first week, and I, and I did it. And I was like, wow, I guess I can do it. I, I don't see how that's possible, you know, but, but it is. It's possible. Now I saw you recently on the show Sing Your Face Off. Yeah. That is a crazy show. That's a crazy show. And you did unbelievable well, th work. Th thank you. It was it was some of them I was just like, who is that? <laughs> well, there was prosthetics, you know, like they would put a fake nose on me and like in, in uh when I was Willie Nelson they painted varicose veins on like a I'm like, you guys are really getting into this. But I, I had the choice as a contestant on the show to either go the comedy route or the musical route. And the first episode when I was Adam Levine, I was like, hey, this is silly, this is funny, you know, like as just being silly. And then I, I didn't like the way that felt to me, like, because I never take music like as a as a joke i don't i don't take it as a joke i i take it serious so the next episode was lady gaga and um and i flicked a switch in my head i go dude it's time to kick some ass right now you know so uh so i i just buckled down and 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 um impressed myself like as a musician mm -hmm. if you if you do that like truthfully nobody can take that away from you you know what i mean yeah. like if you if you let other people tell you what to do and you suck then it's your fucking fault if you are true to yourself and what you believe in and give it a hundred percent then nobody if they don't like it doesn't matter it's there it's on them <laughs> it's not on you yeah well i'm just saying if you give a hundred percent what mm -hmm. else can you do what what else can you do? Right. You know? Right on. So I know that you struggled with sobriety in the past. Mm -hmm. And now you're, you're clean and sober. Yeah. That, that's great. I wish you much success with it's that. It's not I easy. Know, I know that your fans do too. Because well, they want to see you succeed. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Um, it's not, it's not an easy environment. Um, 
everybody wants to party all the time. All the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they see you all and they're the like, time. it's yeah. Sebastian. Come I know. on, man. Yeah. yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but thank you. I, I, I hope that you can continue to... Uh, to yes. resist the temptation. Well, that's what and I, that, that was the song I yeah, wrote. Yeah, that is the song too. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. let's see. What is your ethnicity? I always ask this of people. Um, Norwegian. Right. Uh, you were just in Norway. Norway. Yeah. yeah. Um, Norwegian and German, and Scottish. And Scottish. Yeah. Where did you grow up at? I was born in the Bahamas, which is so weird. I know. I was born in Freeport. Bahamas. My dad taught art at um, the school down there. And then I lived in Northern California when I was a little boy, and then Canada. Okay. So what was it like? What kind of music did you listen to growing up? Uh, my parents totally raised me on 70s music. And uh, my aunt um, worshipped Elvis Presley. Like she would, she would cry all the time when he would come on TV. Oh, it's Elvis! And I was, and I, and I kind of said, I guess that's how you're supposed to like music. So that's how I am with music. I always kind of go, Aunt Leslie, you fucked me up. Like, <laughs> because I, I do all the. I, Elvis would just come on the TV and she would weep. It, you know, she yeah. loved it so much. The power of music, yeah. really. Yeah, and how, how fans relate to yeah. the artist. And then when I first saw Kiss on TV, I was like eight or seven, and, and they were on Midnight Special, and my mom let, them, let me stay up late because it was like midnight or one in the morning. And when they came on, I had never seen them move around on stage, and, and I didn't know that like they were like... I didn't... I didn't know because all I had was the still magazine pictures and jeans breathing fire and spitting blood and I fucking started crying so hard and, and I had no idea why and my mom goes, Sebastian, what's wrong? I went, I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> I'm so happy, but I'm fucking bawling my eyes out. I, I, I don't... It must be from Aunt Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you learn to relate yeah. to music. Yes. My Aunt Leslie raised me on Elvis Presley. Yeah. So now, are there any new bands that you're listening to now? Or you're listening to nostalgic um, music? No, no, I, I like, like, uh, well, I mean, Hey Brie, but that's not new. Um, Five Finger Death Punch. Uh-huh. They're fairly new. I, yeah. I played a gig with them, and I thought I was a good headmanger. But Zoltan Chaney does this thing where he goes in a circle, right? But he stops, like, at the top. So it's like, and I was mesmerized. I was like, I thought I was a good headbanger until I saw Zoltan Chaney. That Zoltan Bathory. Z- well, <laughs> um, he, he, like, reinvented the headbang. Yeah, so yeah. So that was pretty impressive to me. All right, I think that's all I have. Thank you, Susie. Thank you. Now, I need to know your social media, so we'll post that. I thought you were going to ask my social security. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why do you need to know that? <laughs> Just to do an interview? Do you want my password <laughs> for my bank online? <laughs> I need your passwords. I need, I need um, your AOL I need, yeah, password. Yeah, I need.